Question number eight. With respect to the fixed origin node, the line L1 and L2 are given by the equation. This is the equation. This is a position vector, the directional vector. Lambda and mu are the scalar parameters. Show that L1 and L2 do not meet. So, to find this if the line do not meet, let us calculate this following for the i, j and k. We have if they intersect then 1 plus lambda is equal to 6 plus mu and minus 3 plus 2 lambda is equal to 4 plus mu. Let's get the value of lambda and mu and put it in third equation. If the left hand side and right hand side are equal, they intersect. If they are not equal, they are not intersect. So this is 1 plus lambda is equal to 6 plus mu and this is 4 plus mu. So I can write it 2 plus 4 plus mu. I have divided it. Because this 4 plus mu, I can write this value. So it will be easy for me to calculate it. 1 plus lambda is equal to 2 minus 3 plus 2 lambda. So I have 1 minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 2 lambda minus lambda. That is 4 minus 2 is... 2 is equal to lambda. So I have this first value. I put this value here. So 1 plus lambda is equal to 6 plus mu. And lambda is 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 6 plus mu. So this is 3 minus 6. That is minus 3 is equal to mu. So I've got both the values of lambda and mu. Let's put our third equation is 2 plus 2 plus 3 lambda is equal to 1 minus mu. We put these values and it should, if the lines are intersecting both the left hand side and right hand side value is equal. So 2 plus 3 lambda is 2 is equal to 1 minus mu is minus 3. So this is 2 plus 6 is equal to 1 plus 4, 1 plus 3. So 8 is equal to 4 which is not true. So, L1 and L2 do not meet. Let's say this is line L1 and this is line this is L1 and L2. Now the question says P is on L1. Let's say this is the point P. Where lambda is 0 and Q is on L2. Let's say this is Q. Let's say this is So this is P and Q. Where mu is negative 1. Mu is negative 1, lambda is 0. Find the acute angle between the line segment PQ and L1. L1 is this. So we have to find this angle. This is point P, this is point Q. So position vector of... So P is a point on L1 where lambda is 0. So the coordinate of OP will be 1 
minus 3 2 and lambda is 0 so that is the only point and OQ will be 6 4 1 and mu is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 minus 1 and minus minus plus 1 so that will be 5 3 2 so this is OP and this will be OQ. So the vector PQ will be is Q that is 5 3 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 that is P and this is Q so that will be equal to 5 minus 1 4 3 plus 3 6 2 minus 2 0 now we have to find the angle between this is a PQ this is a, a directional vector of PQ so direction vector of L1 at P is having 1 2 3 and this one is 4 6 0 if we have to find the angle between this so we have to use the dot product that is cos plus theta so cos theta will be so 1 multiply 4 plus 2 multiply 6 plus 3 multiply 0 divide by the modulus that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square root 4 square plus 6 square plus 0 square so cos theta will be that is 16 over root 15 root 42 so theta will be cos inverse or up cos 16 over root 15 multiply 42 so that is equal to 53.62985 and we have to find the value give your answer to in degrees and two decimal places so that will be equal to 53.63 degree so that is this the angle between L1 and PQ find the shorter distance from the point Q to line L1 This is point Q and this is L1. So the shorter distance is a perpendicular line. So let's say this is a perpendicular line. This is 90 degree. So this is Q and say PQ. Let me say R. This is the shorter distance we have to calculate. To find this distance, now let's use this triangle this is a right angle triangle this angle we just calculated 53.63 this is 56.63 degree this is right angle triangle so when the right angle triangle is there angles are involved we use so let's say we have to calculate this and we know the pq so we can write sine 53.63 is equal to perpendicular 
over hypotenuse. So sine 53.63 is equal to, we have to calculate this distance, that is QR over PQ. We have the position vector of PQ that was 460. So this distance will be 4 square plus 6 square plus 0 square. So QR is equal to that is 16 plus 32 that is 52 root 52 sine 53.63 so the distance between the point and the line is we calculate this value so QR is 5 point eight zero four six. Give your answer to three significant figures. So QR is equal to five point five point eight one. And that, that is the distance.